Today we are gonna be doing the unboxing of the Let's Roll Lift. Today we are gonna be doing the unboxing of the Let's Roll Lift. So yes, today's video is sponsored by Let's Roll. So huge shout out to them for reaching out, sending this lift out to me. I'm gonna unbox it for you guys, see how everything comes, go over quality, give you a demonstration on how to use it, and at the end, give you some feedback of what I think about it. So you guys know, honesty is always the main priority here when I lie to you like those other channels do. And at that, we got this, I got a famous person here with me. Got Jerry, the coolest white guy I know in the building. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Damn, I did a champ, bro. You didn't start doing champ for me, bro. That's why you're all nervous, it's because I'm here. I yeah, am, I'm shaking. <laughs> Next to this famous guy. Anyways, let's start, let's get into it. First of all, it's two boxes. So in this box right here, we have the little scissor jack. And then in this big old box right here, so we have the actual lift itself. So we're gonna open it up, see how everything comes from factory. What do we got here? Ooh, some merch. We got some merch over here, I think. Yeah. Oh, size large, boom. I think I'll just throw this t-shirt on right now for this little video. right here let's roll certificate of authenticity this is funny hundred dollars percent original dedicated Sean motorcycle and respect they deserve together we raise the bar on motorcycle storage oh there's instructions and we got guess what with every nice little part we get a cool little sticker that goes on the sticker wall that's right so we'll start off with the wheels Ooh, oh these are actually really nice they match your bike and they match my bike and my floor yeah. Yeah, these are actually really nice wheels. I thought I, I thought the wheels were gonna be like a little cheaper on them, but good with that. We'll make this stuff out of here and set them up so we can start. One side has the other side has locks. Like one side has locks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then. Yeah. So you have to put those on one side. Locks right there. Oh good. I was like concerned about them. I'm like, wait, how is the how's this thing gonna lock once the bike is on there? But okay, now we know. Yeah. Then we got some nice. It's like a nice rubber material there. Yeah, that bike's not gonna move once it's on there. But then, got some nuts and washers and bolts. All that good, good stuff right here. Gotta say that this is the first time that I see a company do this. Look, this is really neat. So, everything's all together here, everything's all together here, everything's all together here. So it's not like, don't all over the place. Cool, in the bag. Yeah, man, I like that. It's very neat. When companies take the time to do little stuff like this, like it just it shows you. I like that. setting which is you can put it on the low setting or the high setting because you have lower bikes too, the low yeah go with the higher setting then These wheels are really nice. They're, yeah. they're really good quality, so, yeah. All right. Yeah. So you have the scissor jack right here, and you have a dolly which slides right in. That's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna put the scissor jack right under the bike, lift it up, come around, put this thing under it, and demonstrate how we're gonna be lifting the bike and then we'll spin it around. And um, yeah, so far, so far. All right guys, so first things first, what I want you guys to know is that you need to place this uh, dolly, this lift on the proper side. So this is gonna be going on the side of the kickstand. 
um, the scissor jack, I'm gonna start jacking it up from the other side, obviously. But the dolly should be coming right around here, right in back of the kickstand. That's how it's supposed to be. We'll go to the back and we'll start jacking this thing up. t-shirt on um, we got the bike jacked up right now uh, I had to stop and drop it down because it was just too high and um, I, I didn't need it to be that high so um, these are much slower now so we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys how easy it is rolls right in just like that too far let me just okay. make sure it's on the other side and then all we're gonna do from this point on is just lower the lift and we'll take that out. Good, uh, that side is good, yep. right? Yeah, about three inches. All right. Jerry, what do you think about this? Uh, I like it. I mean, we haven't moved it around yet, but just the construction and the wheels and everything, and it's just really nice to make. And the nice thing about it, you can roll and put it against the wall and get your bike nice and close, because you, you have three bikes in there. Yeah. It's actually four bikes. <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. There we go. Spin your bike, spin, spin, spin. All right, so let's test this thing out. in my garage and um it's gonna be pretty easy now to if i'm gonna take the bike that i know i'm not gonna ride for a while push put it on the push. lift push it against the wall so it just gives me enough space to you know play around with the other bikes or turn stuff around and um it's really that easy man like the wheels are really good quality really they're thick um and your floor is not that good yeah because the tiles are coming up yeah so yeah. it actually real, rolls really nice. On a smooth floor, it would roll like butter. Yeah, this is nice, man. The cleaning cleaning would be great, too. This is cool. Because look, then you can sit here and just clean your wheels. Yeah. All right, so pretty cool. Um, let's talk about quality real quick. Uh, what do you think about the quality? It's pretty I think good. it's great quality. The wheels are really awesome. Made in the US of A. Um, it seems really sturdy. Um, all the welding looks really clean on it. Um, the fitment, everything, all the fitment on it is really, really nice. It's real easy to install. I mean, you're only going to put the wheels on and then... Uh, it's super simple to put together. Yeah, so it, it's good. And then the wheels have locks, so you can lock them once your bike is up there and you want to be moving stuff around. Um, and I, I, I love the fact that it comes with the scissor jack because you're able to play around with it. Um, like I said before, I had on the higher setting. Um, I would recommend leave it on the lower one. Um, you don't have to go that high. As far as like cleaning and detail and stuff like that, it's perfect. I mean, the bike's up, you can yeah. spin your wheels around, clean everything. Yeah, I, me personally, like I, I like to wash my bikes. I clean all my bikes myself. I don't wash my bikes that much. Yeah, you don't wash your <laughs> yeah. bikes at all. <laughs> I ride, I ride, I ride. Right now, this bike is filthy, and I cannot wait to... I'm going to be using this in my driveway now to, to wash the my detail, bike. The detail, yeah. Yeah, the detail get, get in there nice and clean. I have to bring my bike by, clean my bike. Yeah, well, um, unless you guys want to send Jerry one, and he could do it in his own house. He can yeah. wash your own bike. Yeah. So, quality is good. The functionality of it is really good as well. As you guys saw, real easy to use, real easy to maneuver your bike around, and even easy to store, because even if I'm done with this, I could just flip it over and put it against the wall oh. somewhere, or just leave it on top of my, uh, top of the other lift I have in the back right there. But I definitely recommend this product, and mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty cool. What do you think? I think so, 100%. Like I said, as far as moving the bike around and putting one bike against the wall that you're not using, yeah, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah. For those of you guys who have multiple. a few bikes, multiple bikes in your garage. Tight space. <laughs> in a tight space. I mean, I have a pretty good space in here, but I definitely recommend this, especially to for having one bike that you're not going to use that much to put against the wall there. And if you want to move stuff around, you do that. Or if you have a car and a bike in your garage, you're able to put this That'd on perfect, the lift. Too, yeah. yeah, man. So it's... uh. Pretty good, man. Um, huge shout out to Let's Roll for sending this out to me. And I'm gonna keep using this thing 
and that's gonna be it guys uh if you want to see more content like this or me working on my Roguelide, my FXR, my Lowrider S, or some Indian content, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new information or videos. I'm also gonna be linking down the link to the Let's Roll website. You guys can go and check it out, order if you want as well. That's gonna be it. Like always, thanks for your help by the way today no too. Problem, Wonder twins. <laughs> Wonder twins, is that what you wanna call them? No. <laughs> Oh. Just thought about it when you did that. <laughs> would, would have been great, man. Yeah. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <gasps> Lens. I remember when the Wonder Twins go, Wonder Twins power activate. Wait, who are the Wonder Twins? <laughs>